Hey guys, Steven here. Um, here to talk about life with the coffee trailer. Um, my name is Steven Martin. We have our uh, own farmhouse coffee. We've got three locations uh, here in North Georgia. And we've got this coffee trailer. Um, so we opened up March of 2001. And we finished the coffee trailer October of 21. So it was pretty quick. Uh, we wanted to to have something that uh, would really uh, bring some brand awareness and we could do some really cool, uh, great things with. So um, I think the first thing we ever did with this coffee trailer was actually go out to Kentucky after those tornadoes and we served a bunch of people. Uh, so that was, that was the first thing we did and that was, man, that was awesome. It was life changing. Anyway, let me show you this trailer. All right, so here she is. She's a um, repurposed horse trailer. Uh, actually, no horses were ever harmed in the filming. No, I'm just kidding. No horses were ever used in this trailer. Uh, the guy that I bought it from actually used it for um, showing goats, I guess, uh, show goats. Um, but uh, which means that the axle uh, was not um, peed on by some big horses. Uh, so the axle was good. Um, the the wood platform underneath was good uh, anyway it was it was uh, it was a good find so what we did was sandblasted this thing we um, had it painted with uh, inside and out with white um, automotive paint and then of course put this wood panels here put a uh, put a window uh, that's an RV window that was it that was a good find uh, that we that we got there for the trailer um, anyway let me show you so uh, this window right here, let me make sure nothing's going to fall out. So, it's not a good view right now because I'm, I'm cleaning it out, but... So, life with a coffee trailer starts, uh, trailer vents starts the night before. So, that's what I'm doing today. Um, actually, I'm, I'm kind of embarrassed and my wife, if my wife knew that I was going to post this video and show this thing in the condition that it's in, she would, man, she'd be upset. So, let's not tell her. Um, <laughs> anyway... Um, so I think the last event we did with this trailer was like, um, let's see, January, it was like January 5th, maybe. So it was still kind of winter time. We left some winter, um, decorations up. Um, but let me, let me just start here. Uh, this, now what this is, is this is our, um, this is our order window, right? So people come up here and order and, um, and then we usually have an A-frame uh, sign right here. Now I created, now I wanted to originally like take this door right here and put, maybe put a menu hanging on the top, but um, my contractor cut out on us before we could finish that. And I haven't, I haven't uh, made the time to do that. So we just use an A-frame, nice little cool A-frame sign. So here's the back. We've got these really nice, uh, barn doors that open up here. I mean, I, I really love them. I really love them. Um, let me just come out of here a little bit. All right, so uh, obviously we put these wood panels on the inside. Uh, the same, same for this one as well. All right. And now this panel is the back of the refrigerator that we have. Um, this panel is the back of the ice machine. And then we also created a side panel uh, to hide that um, refrigerator as well. Okay, so what we did is we created this kind of bottom right here where the water could could drain out. So what I do to clean the floor is I just get a hose, hose the floor down, wire brush it, and then I squeegee it out outside, right? And it just comes right through there. Um, or it sits in the corner over here and I've got to get it out another way. Um, or I've just got to move the trailer because right now it's kind of wonky sideways. So it's not really draining out the way that it's supposed to drain out. But I was too tired when I dropped the trailer off, unhooked it, and I didn't move it. Hey, this is really cool. So this little, this little bar right here that goes along the back, it's actually hollow. So what we did is we found that out and we connected the drain from the ice machine into this hollow thing right here and it drains into this hollow and it fills that up all the way before it has to drain, which is really cool because, you know, um, even though it's just water, um, 
then like if we're at somebody's house doing an event or we're at some nice wedding or whatever and we're in the driveway then it it has to fill that whole thing up first before it drains out which is pretty cool um all right and you haven't seen our little shop but like the the aesthetic in here is totally matches our our first shop that we opened which is um which is what our idea was is is to match it all right coming around the side of the trailer here you see our um electrical connections so basically here oh uh just noticed uh the water's on let me turn the water off All right, where was I? Electrical connections. So we've got these, right? Um, these receptacles go straight to the equipment and the receptacles inside that needs to go to, um, to power it. Um, and we just plug in the cables here, plug the cables into the pertinent um, generator, right, that it goes to. And I've got this 9500 generator and I've got this 3500 generator. And I absolutely love them, right? Got them from got them from uh what's it called harbor freight and man they've just been they've been workhorses um no problems at all with them let me tell you why i've got two of them so what happened was we started with this first 9500 generator and we plugged everything into that um then what we end up finding out was you'll see i've got a two group espresso machine in there that's uh that's 30 amp and then i've got a uh, a FETCO drip machine that I think is about 15 amps. Uh, then I've got a pump, then I've got um, some receptacles that are plugged in. I've got a grinder, uh, fridge, ice machine, right? So what I found out is when everything is plugged in and the espresso machine is, is uh, filling up and it's heating up, the espresso machine and the drip machine cannot heat up and um, through the setup process at the same time. And if they do, if they both kind of trigger and come on um, the heating element inside the drip machine or the, you know, the heat, um, the boilers inside of the espresso machine trigger and come on, then I lose power. So what we did was we got this 3500 and, and what I put plug into the 3500 is the drip machine and I plug in the, the, uh, the water pump that I've got. And then I also found out when it was winter that I could take a heater and I could plug it also into that 3500. So that's what I do with that. Um, all right, let's keep going. This ramp is really cool. We we got this ramp, put these non-skid, um, you know, um, we covered it with this non-skid stuff, the same that we put in the, in the floor, in the trailer. And then what we did is cut a notch here and just sits right on there. Um, and that's worked out really good for us. We just close it up and, and slide it in. And tomorrow you'll see kind of like how we how we finish up the um, the event and how we pack everything. But anyway, it's um, it's drying from when I clean the floor. Um, but you see the the fridge we got there. We've got our ice machine. Um, I'll just do big equipment first. You know, we got our our grinder for our drip right there. We've got our two group espresso. Marzocco, I call her uh, Marzi or Lamar, <laughs> either one. Some people call call him Lamar, and I call I call her Marzi. Um, and then we've got our drip machine there. We've got our um, pitcher rinser, knock box, our three compartment sink, one compartment sink. Now, as you'll see, there's some like dirty dishes in here. Um, now, what we what ended up happening. And I'll tell you, what ended up happening was we finished that last event and it was like, we were absolutely exhausted and we just said, hey, we'll, um, we'll clean these dishes when we get home and obviously we didn't. So anyway, um, all right, let's keep going. All right, so I just turned the generators off and what I need to do really now is, uh, I guess after this video, is you always need to um, empty the steam um, and the pressure from the boilers. Uh, for these guys 
um, so that we're, when they're in transit, you know, any kind of bumping and everything, there's there's no pressure in those boilers. Um, got a shelf up here uh, that works out really nice. Um, so we've got our we got chai, we got hot chocolate that we offer uh, wherever we are. Um, there's my decaf grinder, little barazza. It's a, it's a little little workhorse, um, perfect for us for for decaf. Um, anyway, so all right, so I'll start over here, I guess. Um, you know, we got the power the power coming over from that side behind here, um, up you know a little high and behind here and then it's up underneath behind the behind the ice machine and then it comes right over here all right so everything comes through there's our first set of receptacles there um, where these things are plugged in there's my uh, clean water tank right so the water goes through there goes through the pump goes up that first one and then it comes around um, here it splits off and then uh, this part um, goes here it goes to the pitcher rinser and to the sinks right so no um, no um, what do you call it no what, what do you call that man? <laughs> filter no filter needed in the pitcher uh, water and the sink water right um, let's see wait well, hold on. Is that even true? Is that even true? Hold on. Never mind. That's not even true. I forgot. We uh, okay. So it splits. It splits on that end, and then it does take everything through the the filters, and then it comes back out, and then it splits. Uh, it goes pitcher rinser and sinks, and then this one goes to um, the. Uh, espresso machine and the drip machine okay so actually because we didn't have any um you know because i thought ahead for people that might want water uh we we just we just filtered everything so this one this one for is espresso and drip and then that one is for everything else so that one uh, filters the ice machine water pitcher rinser sinks all of it there's my little hose connection there i connect the hose and it fills the tank Right, and then if I need to empty it, there's my little um, thingamajig, whatever you call that. Um, all right, so you put, so that's the water's headed under there to everything that it needs to go to. Um, as you'll see, we have the most clean cabinets. Um, this is what happens. I'm just telling you, this is. Um, I'm not trying to glorify anything at all. Um, first thing I'll say is don't paint your cabinets white. <laughs> that's all. That's what I'm saying. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to repaint these black. But if I was do every, to do everything over again, uh, I would do stainless steel uh, frame for underneath the, the cabinet. I mean, underneath the countertop and stainless steel frame. And then I would attach uh, like two, two doors, you know, and a black painted on black or something like that. Um, so anyway, uh, I need to, I need to paint those so that those are nice for anybody that sees them. All right. So here is, okay. So you got the espresso machine. Um, oh, did I sh show you the shelf here? That's where cups, we keep a bunch of cups, a little window drip machine. All right. So under here, uh, here's our pump for the espresso machine, right? Um, here's another outlet that we can use if we wanted to now the the drain for the espresso machine uh, goes there as well as the drain for the pitcher rinser all right everything comes down everything comes down and then goes into my gray water tank okay um, we've got the uh, now we're not permitted to sell anything like a food truck uh, everything we do is catered um, just because that's a really nice loophole that we found um, so but in the process I said hey let's go ahead and do for when we are permitted let's go ahead and do a three compartment sink and um, a hand sink so that um, when we which now we can get permitted because we have uh, two more locations and we have a location that can act as our main 
um, main hub. So we're going to end up getting this permitted as well. Um, but we can talk about that later, how, um, doing it as a catering, a catering trailer really has been beneficial for us over, um, doing it as a food truck. So, um, we can talk about, talk about that later. But anyway, so whenever I want to empty the gray water tank, I do it right there. And as you see, this, this valve right here, the, the, that I turn is broken because of the cold weather. So last time I went here to open it up, it was like 25 degrees and I turned that, that joker and it, it broke on me. Anyway, so it's really nasty kind of down here. It's, it's dirty down here and I'll tell you why, because when this gray water, water tank fills up, let's say after a long event or maybe two events, maybe I didn't, you know, maybe I got here really late one night and um, I didn't, I didn't want to take the time to empty it. And it comes, you know, comes up here. Well, when you're driving and it's sloshing around, then guess where it comes out of this little air hole right here and it splashes everywhere. So that's really nice. Um, let's see what else. <coughs> um, obviously, if you think of anything else um, to ask, you can. Hey, what's, what's great about, um, what's great about this horse trailer is that you can buy a pack of these, <laughs> these magnets and you can just, I mean, you can put them anywhere. It's really nice. Everywhere is a, is something you can hang. So it's really nice. Um, you know, like when we close the, when we close the door, you know, we got a magnet there. We got a magnet thing there. We got magnets here. We got magnets everywhere. Uh, let's see if I'm missing anything. I think that's about it. Tomorrow, what I'll do is I'll just kind of, I guess when I get to the event, what I'll do is is just go through it with you and show you what I'm doing um, to hook everything up. And um, but hey, this is this is it. This is life with a coffee trailer. This um, has really been a blessing for us for uh, for brand awareness. Uh, we do a lot with schools. Um, we love to go and, and serve teachers and what we do, uh, what we end up doing is getting uh, small businesses to um, sponsor a school. So they'll, they'll pay our base price and, you know, we actually set our base price and we can talk about that later, but we set our base price around the idea of being able to charge one price and go to a school. Um, so we have our base price and it covers the first uh, amount of drinks that we give and then we charge a certain amount after every drink after that but anyway it's fun it's challenging it's it it gets nasty sometimes um i i gotta do a lot of cleaning here um espresso now i don't go a, <coughs> i don't go a day without cleaning this espresso machine obviously um and and back doing the backflow and everything i need to do with that but however uh, the outside does get does get dirty and sometimes I just say you know what I'll wait until I wait until before we start our event to to wash it because um, we gotta have the you know you gotta have the pump on and and I just get the water when we start and clean it up a little bit but anyway um that's it part two uh tomorrow to show you uh where we're gonna be our event and just kind of give you some give you some uh, uh clips of that of that happening and and serving and oh, uh, let me show you something cool. So one of the things we do is we actually, <clears throat> how we come up, no, what am I saying? So how, how we keep up with the amount of drinks that we serve and, and count them, we use these sleeves, right? Um, so on one side, <clears throat> one side it has our logo, right? And the other side, uh, really cool. It says book our trailer for your next event. It has a little QR code right there and our, our social media accounts. So, uh, I mean, we have people literally um, like right from the event booking our trailer yeah, which for their event, which is really cool. Um, and also, let me, let me tell you about, I would, I would encourage you and actually it's, it's, it's going to become like part of our it's going to become part of our strategy as we expand more. Uh, as we expand into a new territory, what we're actually going to do is we're either going to start with the trailer in that territory, or 
when we open up a shop, <clears throat> what we're gonna do is make sure we have a trailer um, in that territory to go around because it's been such a uh, business builder for us uh, brand with the I keep saying brand awareness but that's I mean that's what it is because what's happening is people have us for the first time and they're like oh my gosh this is amazing um, you know they they meet us as the owners which is which is big as well we're serving them we're making we're the first point of contact um, so we make that first impression as, as much as we can um, um, but uh, but it's been great. It's been great because people have it and then we're like, yeah, come see us. And a lot of times we'll give out free, like a little free drink card. Uh, and I can show you that card later, but we have a little drink card that says, because you're worth it on the other side, it, it gives them a free drink, 16 ounce. Um, uh, let's see what, uh, okay. Hey, how about this? Um, the drink sizes that we serve, um, we serve a, we serve a 12 ounce hot. 12 ounce hot cup, right? I do uh, two shots of espresso in that. And then we also do, um, I don't know why I did that. We also do a, uh, we also do a 16 ounce iced uh, cup. What we, we started out, when we first started out, we did eight ounce, um, eight ounce cups for kids and then sometimes depending on the event like if we do a whole if we do a whole event or if we do an event at uh, like at a at a city event okay let me start over but if we do sometimes we do sometimes we still do eight ounce cups it just depends on the event if we do for instance um this past christmas we we were there for the, the city hired us right for their parade and we were outside and we were doing hot chocolate and, and everything so what we did so we could give them a, 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 a better price point we did all of our drinks eight ounce and i think we only did cider and hot chocolate for them so that was a pretty easy event that we did um uh, using eight ounce cups so um uh, drip of course we have drip all, always have drip and the decaf espresso as well Let's just talk about like the the cons of having a trailer that you have to that you have to pull. I mean, it's it's very unique, right? It is um, is trendy. It's like um, I don't know. It's just there's something about it that's different, right? But I will say that our our plan uh, as we expand, what we found out is. My wife and I are the only ones that are able to take this trailer out because number one, I just I can't let just anybody drive my Raptor, okay? And number two, um, it's just there's a lot of things that could go wrong with pulling the trailer, and you never know what kind of situation you're going to be in, and you've got to you got to maneuver the thing like the, the the right way, and it's just we found out that man, really we're the only ones that can go out and do that, which. You know, in most cases, it's good because we're meeting, like I said, we're meeting the people for the first time. But what we want to do is our next our next endeavor uh, for a mobile unit is actually going to be like a sprinter van. And and reason being, because I feel like anybody can take that sprinter van out. You know, I mean, I feel like, a, you know, uh, an 18, 19 year old college student can take a sprinter van out and they, you know, Typically, they already know how to back up a vehicle and and do all those things, and and also, you know, our idea with the Sprinter van is uh, create it where you can serve from either side, and you can also serve from the back, and uh, that'll be something really cool. I'll start you off from the very beginning of, of building one of those, but uh, I mean, you can even pull straight into a parking lot, uh, parking space if you do it that way, right? So. Um, it, it's just, there's a lot of times owning three shops that I would just not, I really, we do events that I don't want to go to. Um, but what we end up doing is I have to take the trailer. I've got to drop the trailer off. I've got to hook everything up and then, uh, my team members come and they serve and then I have to go after and pick up the trailer. So I can still do it where, where I don't have to be there and serve sometimes. Um, but man, it's, it, it does make it difficult, uh, being the only ones that can, 
that can move the trailer around. So I will say that, that, um, you know, it's, it's a great little novelty item and probably what what will end up happening is we'll end up, there'll be a price for that, for, for the Sprinter van mobile, mobile unit. And there'll be a, this, you know, this trailer here will be like a higher price, um, since it's so unique and, 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 um, and all that. So, um, but you know, obviously it looks like I either have to get a new tire now for that, or I just need to blow it up in the morning, but, or tomorrow before we leave. It's a, it's a night event, thank God. So I don't have to be up here at, I don't have to be getting the trailer ready at 5 a.m. when it's 23 degrees outside, which is, oh, it's awful. But um, anyway, I think that's it for today. Uh, part two, um, part two, uh, when we're, when I'm packing everything up and, and leaving and hauling the trailer away and, uh, and then getting to the event tomorrow. Uh, so I'll, I'll, uh, hook up with you later and, um, and do that video. So anyway, appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, any questions you got, Hey, uh, feel free to feel free to write in the comments and, and I'll, and I'll help you as best I can or give you as much, as much knowledge as I got or, or have learned as, uh, as valuable or not that it is. Did I say valuable? As valuable or not that it is. Anyway, all right. Take care, guys.